From planting and harvesting food to creating an oasis for wildlife, there's a lot of ways to get kids involved in gardening. And Sharon Verbaten is here from the Brown County Library. She picked out four great books to help us get our kids involved in gardening. My kids always ask me if they can help and build their own garden. And then you have one with butterflies. We have, there's, there's so many great new books out now. I think right. people are really more conscious of gardening and the whole um, farm to table movement and, and kids can really get involved in it. So we're really excited to show off some of these books. All right, let's start with the first one that you picked called Project Garden. It's right here in the middle. What's that one about? And I love Project Garden because it's kind of separated into chapters eat it, make it, recycle it. So there's so many things you can do with a garden. Obviously eat it, you can make your own peppers, tomatoes, kids get very excited. Um, make it, it has recipes as well, and recycle it. Do some great things with recycling, make some crafts, make some lovely garden ornaments. Oh. Lots of fun projects in cool. Project Garden. And you know, nutritionists always say if you, if the kids are involved in growing something, they're more likely to try it. Let's hope so, we can, you know, there's, you know, salt <laughs> Pizza, pizza. There's yeah, a lot of so. things we can kids love, right? So <laughs> that would be a good good plan. Gardening projects for kids. This one back here is the next one. This okay. one's ideal, I think, for younger kids especially. Um, it has a lot more of the craft items, big, bold, colorful pages. So if you have a young child that maybe can't get involved in something more complicated, mm -hmm. um, sponge painting, um, planting the seeds. Um, so some very elementary things, and I really like that it also includes includes um, some safety tips, okay. which is really something uh, important to remember if you're working in the garden with kids. Excellent. Okay, next one, touch a butterfly. That's right here. Wildlife gardening with kids. So this is, does, is it about the, the right plants to attract butterflies? It is. Um, attracting butterflies, birds, and wildlife in, in some areas to your garden, uh, which can really make it more of an experience. Um, so it's a little more philosophical, a little more of a gentle um, book to read with your children. Oh. Okay. Um, pair it up with one of the um, project books and you have a nice weekend um, get outside. Isn't it supposed to be nice this weekend? It is supposed to be nice so, this weekend. So uh, pair some of these together for a great experience. Excellent. And finally, Gardening Lab for Kids. Now, that Gardening Lab for cool. Kids is, is just what it sounds like. I think this would be ideal for elementary school and middle school teachers as well as for uh, parents okay. who want to do a lab unit. Um, it's kind of tricking your kids into doing homework in the garden. Like science um, stuff? It's absolutely, you know, the whole STEM movement is so popular right now. Um, so each day is a lab uh, where they can learn a different thing about the garden. And they don't really so, know they're learning, but they're yeah, absorbing that information. And they're having fun, right? So I want, we're going to bring this up and, and show this. Hopefully you can see it. What is going on at the Brown County Library? Well, you may have noticed in the front of the uh, library on Pine Street that we now have a fenced-in yard. It's it's empty right now, waiting for the plants to go into our Cellcom Children's Edible Garden. We're going to be working with school groups and organizations throughout the community to plant some plots and, um, again, utilize some of these things to make gardening and, and the experience really fun yeah. in the community. I saw it all prepped and ready to go. Can't wait till it looks a little bit more like that. That's going to be fabulous. And lots of projects going on this spring and summer, so stop in the library and pick up a list of what we have going on. All right, we'll put a link to the library's website Thank on you. ours, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin, and we'll be right back. Thank you.